Hello guys, welcome back to a new Rush Wars video. Today is going to be more of a tutorial video because I'm going to be explaining to you guys how the team domination works. And you unlock this nice little part of the game called Daily Domination. So the Daily Domination is a team battle, 5v5, 10v10, I think you could do 15v15, all the way up to 25 v25 and it gives every single player you opt in a chance to compete against another team so here is how it works there is a 24 hour preparation phase in which every single player that's opt-in is going to get three different bases to redesign and make their own now you can see this is one of my bases we look at it and you get a certain number of troops, a certain number of defenses, and they're all automatically placed down on the base. The same levels as you have on your main base. And it tells you which troops you have an upgrade available for that you might want to do before the domination starts. I'm not going to because I'm saving my gold. Typically, you wouldn't want to unless you use that troop on a daily basis. So I have tanks, I could upgrade my tanks if I wanted to, I could also upgrade my pitchers if I wanted to. And you basically redesign your base. Now a little bit of strategy, I would say try to guard every single gold mine as best as you can. Don't worry about trying to save one for the end or just trying to get one star from the opponent or withhold one star from the opponent. Try to guard every single one. And since this gold mine at the bottom is the first one troops will hit, I'm gonna drop all of my troops down there to protect it. And the way my troops are set up, I'm gonna try to lead the opponent towards me. And I'm actually gonna show you guys a little feature here called remove an obstacle. You've seen this on your main base. I'm gonna remove two and I'm gonna move my turret up a little bit because I am a little scared people will try to avoid the bottom one and avoid my defenses after they destroy some of them using a sneaky ninja. So you can't remove defenses that you have down, you can't place down more defenses and you can spend gold to clear obstacles, kind of like your main base. When you're happy with your base you made, you hit save. Every person that's opt into the domination is gonna have three different bases they need to save before 24 hours is up otherwise you're going to be screwed over because it just defaults to a basic base which sucks so make sure everyone in your clan everyone in your team does this confirms their base before 24 hours is up before the preparation day is up and if we hit the enemy map of course you won't see the check marks for them but they all have to do the exact same thing. So while I'm waiting for the preparation day to end and the war to start, I'm going to be explaining what the reward system is like. Now like Rush Wars, there's no real competitive feature. You don't lose stuff if you miss an attack. Basically you're trying to soak up as many stars as you possibly can and depending on how many stars you get, you're going to get a certain crate, a certain box. So if our team gets 50 stars, we're gonna grab ourselves the bronze box. If we get 105, we're gonna get the silver box. And basically, they just get better and better. You get better troops, you get more gold, you get more cards. And then if you win, the winner team gets 250 gold and five diamonds, which isn't very good. I'm hoping they will boost that up in the future and I would assume they would just because winning should get you something more. One more thing, the box that you win upgrades alongside of your headquarters. So the higher HQ you get, the better box you're gonna get. It just like works with your headquarters. It's just the way the game works. It keeps the chest as important at every HQ level and it makes it not obsolete at later headquarter levels. Okay, so on battle day, the first thing you have to do is you have to draft your troops. Now, it's gonna give you a bunch of options and you have three different tries. Basically, you pick which troops you do not want to use, okay? You pick the troops you do not want to use or you don't want in your army composition. So, I'm gonna take out the health now we have Rage. It'd be nice to have some sort of arcade. So I'm gonna do it one more time and we get back to health. And I kinda like the rest of my troops, but we don't really have a real tanking unit. So let's let's swap out the pitcher and see what we get after the pitcher. We do get whatever those cars are called. I kinda forgot at the moment, but let's hit done. Those are the troops I get to attack with. Then you gain access to this giant attack tree. And you'll see, I can't attack this player 
until I attack the player before and before it. So all of them are locked back to this very first player and we need at least one star on a base to move on. And you can't go back and attack a base that already has a star until every single base here has been attacked. It's important, it's incredibly important to communicate to your clan, to your team, and know what troops you have, know what troops they have, and know how to go on, know how to move forward. So we hit the I here. You can see our teammate here was able to get three stars using these troops. Now those troops are no longer inside of his army composition, which means he has less troops. And whenever Steven uses all of his troops, then he's done attacking. Usually it's four attacks. Um, I think every single time you have enough troops for four attacks. And if you really squeeze out your troops, you can get five or even six attacks. It just depends how many troops you think you can use to take down a base, to take down a star. If a base looks hard, maybe talk with your clan, talk with your team and discuss only grabbing one star using a, one sneaky ninja just to move forward past that one player. That's the basics of daily domination. Now, I'm not gonna do an attack live for you, but it's pretty simple. You hit attack, and then you pick which troops you want to use, and then you're gonna hit attack. You'll see here that our teammate was able to get one star. Let's watch a replay of it so you guys can see a replay in action. It's just a normal base. The opponent designed this base, and he's using tanks to tank, and then bazookas to deal damage, it looks like. So, a, a nice little rage spell, but the mortar was crushing. The mortar took out his his bazooka on the top, which hurt him so much. And uh, yeah, the fact that the mortars one shot his bazookas is no bueno. And the mortars are just taking down his tank, and he just really couldn't do much. But against a two mortar base, you might not be able to do much, except maybe someone that has jetpacks. So. My team is not that competitive to talk about attacks. I really, this game really needs a note feature that says like, I can add a note to this player and say like, only attack if you have a jetpack in an arcade and describe the attack. Cause communicating to 25 players is just too much. There's gonna be some crazy competitions and some crazy teams that take this away, but my team is not going to. If you guys want to join my team, there's a link down below. It is full at the moment, but you know, if people underperform in daily dominations or don't attack, which is even a worse crime, then we're going to boot them and that will open up room for some of you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I explained how daily domination works and I hope you guys are pumped because Rush Wars was released to Finland now and it's getting pushed out to other countries hopefully soon. And we're just gonna keep uploading Rush Wars. Don't worry, Boom Beach is still coming. We got Mega Crab this weekend. We're gonna be grinding that out as always. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. As always, you can see the enemy team is starting to get an edge on us by taking down a couple bases. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.